Fairwood Brown here with the kitchen sink top refurbishment or re I don't know what you want to call it. That's good refurbishment. I'm using sandal and extra durable clear coat satin. Now this does have a little bit of color in it, which is handy. Now this is gonna be the third coat on here and try as hard as I could. I couldn't get these stains out without you know, trying to take a quarter inch or something off off the surface. So this this was a problem area here, and it's, it's you can see the difference in the the light and the dark. It's not not all that bad. I mean, she's happy with it at the moment. One thing, I kind of wanted to put some sort of clear filler in these, but I think we're just going to try and fill it with varnish. Or is, it, is this what is this stuff? Is it a varnish or is it? polyurethane. Clear coat, unique formulation. Um, it doesn't say actually what it is. It's polyurethane of some sort, you know, oil-based. Now, when I'm done so far, this is, I've done about half of the sink this morning. I mean, I'm using a two, 220 grit paper, and I used that little bit on that half. So that's, that's how much material I've taken off off that. Now, what what it is is you can see these little oh, little things that were floating in the air basically that they've landed on there. So I'm just gently trying to knock some of those down and then just giving it a key to um, the new varnish to stick to. And I'm going with it, you can do it. You can do it round and round and back and forth. But I think if you try and stay with the grain, it's going to show up less. See, that's how much is coming off. Now, there's a little problem area there, but the second coat really making it look nice. It looks a lot nicer after the second coat. This third coat really should do the job. Anytime you're doing these things in the future, I highly recommend telling the customer three coats is needed to do a good job. So, all this little stuff, I'm going to vacuum, and depending on how critical it is not to have any stuff in here, what you can try and do is reduce the amount of stuff floating around in the air somehow. Now you, what I would recommend almost is damp mopping the floor. You know, you can damp mop this floor so nothing's going to come up off the floor because there's probably a lot down there and you, you just don't realize how much. And it takes um, somewhere between four and six hours for this stuff to become uh, dust free, so to speak. Okay, well, I think you got the idea. Now, after this, I'll take, I'm going to take and vacuum it first. And then I'm going to take a, a white spirits and wipe it off with white spirits and then lay on the varnish. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.